Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this unseen video. We got so much to get through. Let's get into it. We're going to start with top stories and I don't think there's a bigger story right now, certainly not today, than the AEW footage. You might have heard they're going to show the backstage unseen footage, perfect for this video series by the way, but the unseen footage of Wembley. This is CM Punk choking out Jack Perry, right? Um, we won't see Tony Khan fear him for his life. If you're tuning in, hoping to see that, you won't see that. That's not being shown. They're just going to show the CM Punk Jack Perry stuff, right? And you might be asking, why? Why are we doing that? This was a long time ago. This was, I believe, last August. So why are we doing this now? Well, it definitely feels like CM Punk's interview the other day played a part. But Dave Meltzer has got another little bit of interesting information. Boom. This was four hours ago. So regarding this thing tomorrow with the footage, the idea is that the footage is going to build to a future angle for a pay-per-view, presumably related to FTR versus the books and Jack Perry's return. There is a booking reason for doing this. Whether it works or not is best judged after we see it. We got this as well from Dave. He said it will be Punk Perry footage that airs. Uh, leading to a storyline obviously involving Perry and not Punk. And then we got a glimpse. We got a glimpse of it, right? So you can see that this preview uh, went up. It was around about 10 hours ago. And in the preview for Dynamite, there is like a second of footage. Not much. It Literally, this is a screenshot of probably the best thing you see. Um, as like you just approach the door, then you just get this blurry sort of image. Uh, someone has added the red boxes and the names. They are not there. Someone else has added that afterwards. But um, yeah, so here's the footage. Here is a clip of what we're going to be seeing. A little taste of what we're going to be seeing. The wrestling world is definitely going to be tuned into this. I don't know if they'll tune in and it'll help the ratings or if people are just going to be tuned in on social media, right? Because whatever happens on Dynamite will be on social media like five seconds later. Um, but yeah, everyone's going to want to see this footage. AEW know it as well, so it does feel like a bit of a ratings grab, but can't really blame them for doing that. It's just, is this the right thing to do? I'm not sure even they know the answer to that. So, yeah, it's going to be explosive. Right, so that was that. And the other big story is that Bron Breaker has said his farewell to NXT. Um, this is a five-minute long video. Baron Corbin basically thanks Bron Breaker, uh, says that he helped reignite the fire in him, uh, really puts him over as a talent. Bron Breaker thanks the fans and says like that uh, he's really enjoyed his time with Baron Corbin and thinks that they, at one point, may have been the best tag team in the world. Uh, like, really kind of putting it over. Thanks the fans. Gets a little bit emotional i mean uh, there's not tears but you can tell that he's feeling the moment and um that's it so obviously they lost the titles on nxt uh, seems like bron breaker is now on the main roster heading over to smackdown and um what a bright future he's got it's gonna be uh it's gonna be quite the ride so let's go into WrestleMania, shall we? So this is the WrestleMania folder. So here, look, Paul Heyman's Hall of Fame speech is the most watched speech ever, right? I'm guessing Hall of Fame speech. I don't think it's the most watched speech ever, uh, but Hall of Fame speech with 27 million total views from WWE's platforms. That is very impressive, as is this. Triple H tweeted this out. Biggest WrestleMania ever was never just a tagline. Between the level of talent in the ring and behind the scenes and the passion of the WWE Universe, it's no surprise that WrestleMania X 
XL set records across the board. Thank you to everyone who made this the biggest WrestleMania ever. So biggest WrestleMania, Raw and SmackDown gates ever. Most viewed WrestleMania ever. Most social WrestleMania ever. Highest WrestleMania merchandise sales ever. I think most viewed WrestleMania is very impressive. Very impressive. I don't know quite how we've got to that. I don't know if we're talking global. I don't know if we're talking domestic like US. Um, but obviously most viewed. If you think about the success of like WrestleMania 28, WrestleMania 29, 28 in particular, The Rock and Cena. Uh, I know that from a numbers point of view that you know, broke records. Well, pretty much every record I think has been broken by WrestleMania 40. So we really did get to witness something very special. Right. Uh, Variety says exclusive WrestleMania 40 is the most streamed entertainment event ever on Peacock with 1.3 billion minutes viewed over the weekend. 1.3 billion minutes viewed over the weekend. Amazing. Right, Johnny Gagano said, I usually post my graded comics in a separate thread, but this one is going to get its own shine. Candice LeRae surprised me on Saturday morning with a special congratulations on your first WrestleMania present. It was Avengers number one which I have no idea how much that costs, but I would imagine it's probably not cheap. And um, yeah, very, very cool. So very good. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. We won't play all of it. And I'm warning you now, there's bad language, but this woman goes off, right? Goes off on the fact that Drew McIntyre didn't just walk away. He had to go back, put himself in this bad situation, she goes off, man. She goes off. So, Alex, shout out to you. We'll play a minute of it. This is uh, Psych Design 2. All you had to do was leave. <laughs> That's all you had to do. <laughs> you don't listen. So she's going off on Drew. As he's being kicked. What did I say to you? What did I tell you? All you had to do was fucking leave. All you had to do was leave. That's all you had to do. You don't listen. Not even to lose your shit in front of everybody. Because you don't listen. Stupid. Fucking stupid. All you had to do was go. Maybe we can turn it off now. Jared. She called what it. The fuck did I say? You called it. She called it. Game time. Game time counting, bitch. <laughs> what did I tell you? I told you. All you had to do was go in the back. That's all you had to do. Fucking dumb. Just stupid. If you want it, so that was one minute ten. It goes on for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Goes on for three minutes. Oh my god, what a clip! What a clip! It's awesome, isn't it? That's awesome. So, uh, who is it? It's Psych Psych Design 2. So, if you want to uh, check that out, go over to uh, TikTok Psych Design 2. Right, uh, KJ uh, said. Uh, or heard Roman say, I knew it. That move sucks. That move don't beat nobody. So as Roman is battling with Cody, he hits a crossroads on Cody, but Cody kicks out. And then that's when Roman said, I knew it. That move sucks. That move don't beat nobody. So uh, Jax, thank you. James, thank you. Uh, this is from Fightful Select. Cody Rhodes sold over a million dollars in merchandise throughout WrestleMania weekend. Wow, that's very cool. Right, here's Johnny Gagano. He said, I promised y'all more content, so we brought back the vlog. Follow us on the road, literally, to our first WrestleMania. You're on vlog now. Okay, so... 
this is the vlog. I don't, he said coming soon, so I don't know if that means the full thing is coming soon and this is just like a clip. But uh, basically this is them picking out a car, trying to decide what vehicle to get. Um, and then as soon as they do that, they go and get some food as well. But uh, they choose this one. So uh, as I said, it says coming soon, so I don't know if that means it's going to be like the full thing or whatever. Apparently, this is like half one in the morning here. That's why they're all a bit like, oh, my God. But look at that. That looks nice, man. That looks nice. And then uh, there's Tommaso. He's just got some eggs. Obviously, he's trying to stay in great shape. And then uh, obviously sign in a load of these uh, uh, prints, which I'm guessing would have been sold at like the WrestleMania Superstore and whatever. So, yeah, it's really fun. It goes on for like 1 minute 41, but uh, I'm guessing there might be longer, a longer one somewhere on their website, on their YouTube channel, uh, Johnny Gagano YouTube. So check that out. It's good. It's good. Right, look at this. Chris, shout out to you. He said, did you see this? Jason Baker said, Drew's gear was legit lost. Not a work. You suck, UPS. My phenomenal wife left WrestleMania night one during the show. She stayed up until 6 a.m. and had replacement gear ready for Drew before the start of night two. She is an absolute legend. So how about that? Do you remember he sent a tweet out, a message saying that UPS had lost his gear? He also said, CM Punk, can I borrow yours, seeing as you're not going to need it, right? Uh, which was fun. Uh, but he went and got some new gear created. But um, apparently they were making it literally throughout the night uh, going into day two. How amazing is that? Shaquem, thank you. So this is Cena spotting Steph, right? So he comes over, sees Steph, embraces Steph, which is really nice. Two old friends there. Uh, two old friends. I'm guessing he probably hasn't seen her in quite a while. But he comes over and he says some uh, words and... Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? And uh, I, I bet that meant a lot to her as well. So that's quite a hug, isn't it? I mean, that is a proper... Oh... Lovely, lovely. So there we go. Uh, apparently he said, welcome home, John Cena to Stephanie McMahon. Right, Finn Balor, sometimes you just have to get a closer look. So there was Balor. It looks like he's at a festival. Uh, there was Balor with his partner. Uh, they were out there getting a closer look uh, when the story was finished. Yeah, look at this as well. Seth being super emotional, getting upset at the story being finished, but also struggling to get back up to his feet. So there he is, look. He's got tears in his uh, eyes. I think he's struggling to get up. I think he's done his leg. And he's like, oh, I love Jay, man. Look at Jay there. I want to play that again. Jay straight away. Look, round about. You all right? I think he says, my I got you, bro. I got you. Round the bat, look, helps him up. Oh, guy's good, isn't it? There's Kevin. There's Sammy. And they all sort of help him. And then, obviously, we get that moment of uh, him with Cody. Cody putting his hand out. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, all of this was lovely. So, here's the Miz. I mean, can I just say, if this is the before picture, right? I'm just, I'm giving up. <laughs> I'm giving up. I would give, I would give a lot, I would give my kingdom, uh, just that I could look like the before picture, but, um, the Miz shows off his transformation that he went through from January to now in order to get into the best shape for WrestleMania, I mean, that is respect, just respect. Uh, it's Bryn again said they've all finished their story, so these were the WWE referees, that is not a referee that was there. Right. In fact, I think I can see that it was like cut out and there's a bit of white on the leg. And also look at the look at the kind of tone. It's all different to the uh, to the other referees. This dude looks like he's on some tropical beach. I'm not having it. That dude wasn't there. And there is no way he would put his head there is the no, I'm not having it. He wasn't there. So I don't know who this dude is. I don't know who this dude is that's photo bombed the picture. You can ignore him. But, uh, yeah, that's all the referees there at uh, WrestleMania. Oh, this is... Do you know what? If I was Bailey, I would actually be upset by this. 
Right? I'll play it and then I'll tell you why. <laughs> cool. Look around the back. XL. Okay, uh, 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 lovely, but why is she so surprised? If I'm Bailey, do I not look good all the time? Why is Rhea Ripley freaking out that much? God damn, Bailey! You look good! I'd be like, dude, I look good every day. I look good every day. Like, I would, I, she's taking this very well. I'd be on the floor right now in tears. I'd be on the, I'd be, I'd be reaching for ice cream, comfort eating right now if she'd done that to me. So, uh, uh Bailey has obviously taken it in a very different way. So, uh, there we go. That was that. Right. Uh, let's work our way through, shall we? Let's go down. So here, look at the press time. The next episode of TV that Roman is advertised for is the Smackdown before SummerSlam. So apparently Roman will be on the Smackdown before SummerSlam. Don't know. Will we see him this weekend? Will we see him this Friday before he goes away? We are expecting him to go away. Or has he gone away now? I'm not sure. But look at this. 8.8 .8 million. It's probably at 10 million now. But uh, Roman did tweet out, right? Uh, a sent a message. Yesterday I mourned. Today is day one. Right? 10 million or 8.8 .8 here. Like, just watch this 11-second clip. So, Tribal Chief said the Tribal Chief has got X buzzing with just a 12-second video. It's 11. It's 11. Uh, and uh, I'm joking. Uh, and Cody video on finishing the story is nowhere near. The attraction of the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns on X is unreal. So, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. oh, yeah, this was crazy. Can I play this? And when my days are done around here, which could be sooner than later, the whole world will acknowledge me. Right? And then at that, so when my days around here are done, the whole world will acknowledge me. And then boom, look at this 2024. Thank you, Roman. Thank you, Roman. So, uh, and even Cody says that he acknowledges. So, there we go. Roman Reigns predicted the future back in 2021. The whole world acknowledged. So, Jax, shout out to you. Um, Ismar, thank you. 6.7 right now. Incorrect. Uh, it's 8.8, .8, but actually probably 10 right now. Uh, so, let's play the clip, shall we? I feel like there's all the emotions. I feel like every emotion. Like, look. Determination. Little smirk. Ready to return. It's kind of like... There's a bit of confidence. There's a bit of focus. There's a bit of determination. There's a bit of... Anger. It's 11 seconds. I can't stop watching it. It's like 11 seconds, but I feel like I get so many different emotions from him. Yeah, well, there we go. Make of that what you will. Uh, and then Tribal Chief said, Roman first post after WrestleMania 40, and The Rock and Paul Heyman had responded to it. Roman said, I mourned on X. But on Instagram, he said, we mourned. Interesting. And here, look, Paul Heyman said, I acknowledge you, my tribal chief. <laughs> so we know Heyman's right there still. Yeah, Heyman's right with him. Uh, and The Rock said, I know that, Jim. Day one, F, yes. Don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. He might know that, Jim. Maybe that's The Rock's Jim. Or, I don't know. Uh, day one, F, yes. Well, there we go. The Rock responded as well. So uh, that was, did we cover everything? Yeah, we boxed off everything. So that was the Roman folder. Let's go to the Nightbird folder now. We won't spend long in here because I'm struggling with these personally. But I want to show you so that you can make your own mind up. 
Okay, so Cody Quinn has circled this, but I don't know what we're meant to see. I don't know if this is like maybe meant to be a mouth and an eye or like maybe. I kind of feel like that, as we said before, there is that phenomenon where if you like, you know, you can see faces face it if you look hard enough like faces like that that could be a mouth those could be eyes that could be a face right there yeah that could be a face right there and actually in fact i have heard people saying they could see lily you know is that quite lily-esque over here would you say you know i i, I don't know i can see a face right here look look at this one. <laughs> but i don't know is that a face there is the summit here I don't know. I can't say I've seen anything that's really like... Oh, my God. I do like the seven. I do like the seven. But, yeah, I don't know. Looks like a monkey. I feel like I can see a monkey. Big ears there. Look, boof, boof. Big mouth here as well. I could see a monkey. And maybe, like, something Lily-esque here, but... Mm, Looks like a face, says S. Ah. I mean, the only thing I would say is, uh, if that's a shoulder, I mean, does it? Is is there a face there? Don't know. Don't know. Some people might think this is a hat, a brim of a hat. That could be hair here. This could be shoulders. Is there something around here? But then I think I can see hair here and here. But then I feel like there might be some here. Hey, do you remember that bit where Howdy, doesn't he have the mask in front of him and then he takes the mask down? Could this be the mask, the Uncle Howdy mask here with Howdy behind? Hey, let's go back to that. Wasn't That was by Hello, wasn't it? This is like we're doing some live... Oh, we don't... It's not in that clip, unfortunately. That's a cropped picture, so it won't be in that. Yeah, now I'm looking at it. I'm actually now starting to see something. I'm starting to see a hat. I'm starting to see hair. I'm starting to see shoulders. And I, I feel like there's another face in front of this face. So is that... That moment where Uncle Howdy had a mask in front and then he takes it away... Hmm, I couldn't see it. I feel like I can see it now. Uh, what's this? I got, oh, I've been tagged in this one a bit. WWE Ethan, shout out to you. I'll whoosh it in. Let's see. Whoosh, whoosh. So, I don't, I don't get this. W-R, White Rabbit, or maybe Wyndham Rotunda, right? W-R, Wyndham Rotunda, also White Rabbit. T-R, Taylor Rotunda, and question mark, question mark, question mark. So are they saying that that is a T and that is an R? So are they, uh, uh, I'm into this theory, I'm into this. I got tagged in this a bit. So they're saying that that could be a, a T and an R. Um, and if it is TR, that might be Taylor Rotunda, just like how White Rabbit was Wyndham Rotunda. Okay. Anthony, uh, I can see that. I can see that. No, I don't mind that. That I've got, I've got something there. I've got something from that one. Uh, howdy is Hello. Says Cal. So that's true. We had a low in the corner. That's a, another way of saying howdy. Howdy. Uh, WrestleBuzz said, we're only one day in and I'm so reaching. It's all right. That's kind of what we're doing in this folder, to be honest. Um, an owl is considered a nightbird. And back in the White Rabbit videos, we would see this owl mask could be nothing but just a hunch. I feel, yeah, you're right. I feel like this turned out to be stock footage. I feel like this turned out to be stock footage because I feel like we were waiting for this person's identity to be revealed and it never arrived, right? And we were looking into owl people, which is in Batman comics, Batmore, Batman lore. So we were really like looking into this, but um, we never really got anywhere with it. So 
It's worth having keeping it on the uh, radar. Uh, Jason said, look at the picture again. You can see a face right next to Bronson Reed with a cowboy hat on. Right next to Bronson Reed with a cowboy hat on. I can't see it, but to be honest. Um, I, I think if people are going to say they can see stuff, ideally, if you can, like, circle it so that we know roughly where we're going. I mean, like, I can't, I, I can't see one. I, I am interested, though. I, I am interested in going back to this one because I feel like I can now see something with this one, but I might just be going insane. I might have now looked so hard that I'm now driving myself insane. Um, uh, and this was T Lil, right? So the B and the F are up and down. So there we go. B and F right next to that seven. I like that seven next to the seven. It also kind of looks like the Firefly Funhouse stage with the kids chairs to the bottom to the bottom left but i stared at the image so long i started seeing a firefly and uncle howdy mask i had to call it quits i am struggling to see the firefly funhouse right but then i couldn't see bf i mean look there's every chance that what they've done is they've took some bray footage messed it up and so you can see a howdy thing in there. You can see a funhouse thing in there because it is in there, right? There's every chance of that. Unfortunately, it, all it's doing is confirming this is connected to that. And we already know that. I don't think anyone's looking at this thinking this is how they're bringing in MJF or this is how they're bringing in Tamatonga, right? I think we know that this is going to lead to Uncle Howdy, right? And so I'm not seeing any clues or no one's really finding anything that's like pushing this story along, if you will, or not that we know at this point. So I know we've spent a long time on it and I know that we haven't massively made progress, but people are kind enough to send their thoughts, their theories on this. I want us to look into them and you know some of it you'll be like no 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 but there could just be that little diamond in the rough couldn't there there could just be that little thing as we're as we're panning for gold there might be that little nugget in there so you've seen what i've seen now so uh up to you as to what you thought about those but a big thank you to everyone that uh sent them through right let's go to uh nxt shall we see what we've got inside look at this Oh man, we got way. Oh man, we got way more than I thought. Uh, right, Carrying Cross said, "Nice to see you again." Now get effing ready for the mayhem. Hashtag the final testament NXT. Right, we looked at that, didn't we? Uh, Ivar with eyes emojis after he made an appearance on NXT. It was a very good NXT. Uh, Brady, thank you. No Drew Gulak on no quarter catch crew. It says Kemp, it says Dempsey, it says Born. There is no Gulak there. So this ain't looking good, is it, for Drew Gulak now? This is not looking good. He was not on TV. Has he just been taken off whilst it gets investigated? I said during our NXT live stream, uh, uh, people have been in touch with me telling me that this is a load of nonsense. It's a load of rubbish. It was a mistake. It, you know, he went to shake a hand, like he said, right? It's Ronda. She's bitter. Blah, 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 right? I've had all of that. But I've also had, I'm so pleased that Ronda's exposing the truth. WWE has been rotten to the core for a long time. These people need to be called out, right? So I've had both ends of the spectrum get in touch with me. And then I think there's people kind of, all along this thing, right? Uh, I think if you're a company that has had all of this noise, right, with Vince and the Janelle Grant stuff, if someone like Ronda Rousey is going to come out and say something like that, it's very hard for WWE to not do something because they have to be seen to be investigating these things and taking these things seriously. I mean, she came out and she was clearly not happy with what had happened, she clearly feels like she had been wronged, right? So 
uh wwe investigating i think would be a wise thing to do and maybe that's what's happening at the moment uh, i know that fightful said they should have an update on this today so i will keep an eye out on that but it definitely feels like something's happening you know drew gulak was not there and now his name is not on the entrance for this so something to be aware of Edward, thank you. WrestleUp said Bron Breaker has bid his farewell to NXT tonight and is now fully focused on the main roster. Uh, Brady, thank you. Bron Breaker's farewell speech. After NXT, Bron thanks everyone from Sean to every NXT trainer and his tag partner, Baron Corbin. It's not goodbye. It's see you later. Hashtag thank you, Bron uh holy shiz the final testament just showed up in nxt carrion cross replied right get ready so uh there we go uh dijack said i'm gonna beat homeboy so badly he will think he's in meta five with alicia fox <laughs> <laughs> do you remember alicia fox and noam dar had this little thing going i think it was, it was in 205 live um and that's how long he's been around for noam dar's been with uh nxt quite a while right um so that was really fun and oro mensa said homeboy meta five robocop stays cringy right and Dijak responded, literally, the easiest ratio of my life. Legit, like, two minutes tops. <laughs> the, and it is true as well. Look at that. 328 likes. 2,100 likes. So, uh, you got ratios. Hey, here's Tate and Paxley. This is what she had to say after attacking Lyra Valkyria. This is one of the Appreciate it. I want to be appreciated. <laughs> I just want to be appreciated. I want to be appreciated. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> right, so that was that. Right, Jakara Dak Jackson responded as well. She said, homeboy, Dijak, you're scary, but no, I'm going to whoop that ass and I'll be front row to witness it. And uh, here, Dijak said, thank you, Queen. I agree. I am scary. Right, here's Roxanne. She said, me, myself and my title. So uh, NXT Women's Champion Roxanne is done idolizing WWE superstars of the past. It's brilliant. She said, like, I think it was like nine years ago, I asked Natalia to show me the way and tell me, like, how could I make it? And do you know what help she gave me? None. None. And so I uh, had to kind of make my own way. Like, I'm loving what we're doing with Roxanne at the moment. And wow, what a debut. What a debut. Javon Evans said, y'all heard WWE. The game just changed. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. So uh, the young OG, the young OG Javon Evans. Let's go, man. Let's go. So excited to see him. Uh, Fightful said, we're getting the new production shots from the main roster to NXT. Love to see it. Yeah, so this is where we kind of go through the door and went round the backstage areas. The start of NXT was fantastic with the camera shot and everything. Thought it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, Josh Briggs suffered two crack ribs at NXT. Stand and deliver. Josh Briggs suffering two cracked ribs. Right, and look at that. Nathan Frazier said, I prayed for this, and it happened genuinely. So uh, there we go. That's him with the NXT tag title. Corey Brennan of Fightful said, I'll have an update on Drew Gulak tomorrow for subscribers. So we need to keep an eye out for that. Um, Carmelo Hayes said, this beef ain't over till I say it is. Obviously, he's coming after Trick, and we know there's going to be a cage match. Right, here's Ariana Grace. She said, gosh, my two sashes look so brilliant, flawless, truly. So there we go. Miss Stand and Deliver and Miss NXT. 
Right, here we've got Andre Chase. So we found out some big information on NXT. Andre Chase said, I knew throwing in the towel would cost me everything. So he bets on Thea Hale, right? Which was a real stupid thing to do. Um, but that moment at Great American Bash, all I could think about was Thea's safety and all of the accomplishments that she might not achieve if she risked injury in the submission match. Uh, I would bet on her over and over. And he just goes on to say that he believes in her. So he bet on Thea. She was in a tough situation. So he threw the towel in. That meant that it saved Thea, but it also meant it cost the university a lot of money. And then the university got into trouble. The girls did the calendar, blah, blah, blah. Thea was always upset, though. Always upset that he had thrown the towel in on her. He thought, or she thought, that he had given up on her, right? And so it's lovely to find out that he didn't. He'd actually placed a big bet on her. And throwing in the towel hurt him a lot financially. Like, it's good. I think it's really good. So um, I've really enjoyed NXT this week. I think 2024 for NXT has not been brilliant. But uh, I thought they did really well here. I thought they did really well. So more of this week, please. Right, again. Uh, Edward, shout out to you. Uh, so take this with a grain of salt. But the rumor is that the Stardom founder, Rossi, is about to announce a new promotion this weekend. The rumor is it will be part of the WWE umbrella. Mate, if it, mate. If he's about to announce like an NXT Japan or whatever... If it's on the network, or if you know, we can, I'm on. I'm there. I will watch that. I will watch that. And an NXT Japan, or a WWE Japan, or a, whatever it is, I would watch that. The only thing is, though, if it's going to be a new promotion, and it's not WWE branded, and it's just you know, it's just going to be a feeder system, and it's kind of they're working with WWE, but like at a real arm's length. You know, but if it's going to be NXT Japan, let's go, man. Let's go. Uh, right. Alex Bloomfield said Supercard got there first with this image. All they did is put the title on it. So there's the image of Cody. And then there's the new render of Cody with the belt over his shoulder. And so it does seem like they just took that, added that, and that's it rather than it be a new picture. So uh, there we go. Looks like uh, this was in Supercard, and they've just kind of um, added the belt. Right, there's lots of conflicting reports here, and so we don't know the truth. You might remember yesterday we read that Steph was back in with management. Well, PW Insider 19 hours ago have said that Stephanie McMahon has not officially returned to WWE as an employee or executive in any way, shape, or form. All right, so it's left me confused now. Now we're getting conflicting reports so i'm giving you the latest this is from pw insider which is a pretty good source in all fairness so as of right now let's pump the brakes on the steph news let's wait and see if there's like a major update that comes through so uh, they're saying that she has not returned as an employee or executive Right, The Rock versus Cody Rhodes planned for WrestleMania 41. This is according to Dave Meltzer, and I sort of got the vibe that he was sort of speculating that it was going that way rather than he knew it was going that way. It was very clear from Raw that we are building to Cody versus Rock, but... Um, yeah, I don't know if that's going to be SummerSlam or we don't know if it's going to be next year. But Dave seemed to think with the film projects that are coming up and everything that it would likely be WrestleMania 41. Could you imagine that, though? Cody versus Rock, WrestleMania 41. Cody, um, uh, Rock versus Roman, WrestleMania 42. And that's the next two main events of WrestleMania sorted with Roman clearly wrestling next year against, I don't know, someone, right? CM Punk. Oh, my God. CM Punk Roman and Cody versus Rock. Oh, my God. Imagine that. Imagine that. Right, Rhea Ripley now has the longest active title reign out of all of the current WWE champions, 374 days. Right, uh, did we do Raw? No. 
Okay, so last night Raw pulled in 2.3 million viewers, right? Highest viewership since February 2020. Uh, and the peak viewership last night was Cody and The Rock uh, near the start. 3.2 million people tuned in. I mean, it is just as sick enough says there. Crazy numbers. <laughs> Crazy numbers. I mean, the average for Raw, and it's an average, is 1.7, kind of around that ballpark. So, you know, for them to do a segment that's 3.2 is... Oh, it just shows, doesn't it? I mean, it really shows how much interest there is in this. Uh, here's uh, Chair Shot Sports. So, I, I, I don't like this, right? But 99% sure The Rock gave Cody the watch back. Now, I'm not aware of a watch. So, this is news to me. Cody had special Rolexes made for WrestleMania. Him and Seth had one. And Roman appeared to be wearing one at the Hall of Fame ceremony. One would assume that The Rock gave Cody his watch back, probably all smashed up. So, I feel like this is a little bit of a walk. Because on Ariel Hawani, Cody said he'd had watches made for him and Seth that had 40 on. Okay? Now, it turns out when Roman is hugging the wise man, uh, this was at the Hall of Fame, you can see Roman's watch, and it's got what looks to be a 40 on it. And it would make sense that Cody would buy all four guys a watch, wouldn't it? It would make sense. In real life, they're going to be getting on, right? In real life, they're all friends. But in this, obviously, storyline, they are not. So... Um, I believe that Cody probably did buy them all watches, but I don't think that's what The Rock's going to have handed him back because then we would know that Cody had bought him a watch to commemorate their moment on night. Like, so what? Everything that's happened has just been all fake and phony. I mean, we know it has, right, in real life, but I don't want that now creeping onto TV. So, I don't know, man. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. I, I understand blurring the lines, but the question rightfully would be asked, why did you buy the Rocker watch? Why did you buy the Rocker watch? When did you give the Rocker watch? And why did you buy the Rocker watch when he, all the Mama Road stuff was happening? And the truth is, he did it because in real life, and people will say, well, it's blurring the lines. Yeah, but blurring the lines is meant to be in a good way. Like, blurring the lines as if someone acts injured and you don't know if they're really injured or not. That's blurring the lines. But this sort of thing, no, nah, I'm not a fan of this at all. So it's a theory. It's nothing but a theory. But it's it's a really good theory in the sense of I'm not having a go at chair shot sports. They could be correct. It could turn out to be this. But of all the theories I've heard, I still like the lighter or the matches. That's still the best one I've heard. Right here, Dylan said strategic, but I think Gable is turning heel. So he was a bit heelish in this interview, right? He was a bit heelish in this interview. He just sort of said, like, I'm going to be IC champion. I'm going to beat him in front of his countrymen. You know, he's going to be disappointed. His countrymen are going to be disappointed. He also said another line, when you work with people, you know, and you train them, you get to learn their weaknesses as well, you know? Um... It, it, this is not a may the best man win kind of a situation. So very interesting from Chad Gable. Uh, Liv Morgan said such a beautiful sight. Such a beautiful sight. So there is Rhea. There is Dom uh, after Liv attacked. Here, look, uh, Cody Rhodes said Ben Williams and Adam Penucci did an incredible job. They always do such a sweet surprise. So those are the people that made that video package. Corey Graves said they are a secret weapon, right? Not so secret anymore, of course. Uh, and I think we've just got fun and other. So let's get into uh, the fun folder. Um, right here. So is this what he got handed? What The Rock gave Cody on Raw? So uh, the head of that chicken. Thought that was brilliant. Love that. So Jaden, shout out to you. 
Uh, I saw the CM Punk footage and it's damning. Let's have a look, shall we? This is the uh, CM Punk footage. Oh, my God. There he is. Look. Oh, my God. That's going to ruin his career, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're going to play this. Oh, my God. He's done, mate. He's done. He is done. He is. Oh, my God. They're going to play that on Dynamite. It's over. Coach Co, shout out to you. Isamar, shout out to you. We don't have to wait till Wednesday. Here's the backstage footage. Here it is. Right. There we go. There's one of the bucks. Boom! Look at this. Wow. Wow. So, Isamar, thank you. Right, Fisticuffs said, Days, is it okay to tag you here on my timeline for wrestling stuff? Yes. Uh, so, yeah, this is interesting. This is interesting. Boom, boom, boom. I don't have it, actually. Can I click on it? Let's go. Let's go. Look at this. Sign of the night, yeah? She almost, so Samantha, here we go. Cody Rhodes, Samantha's reading the signs. So uh, I'll have to explain that, but Samantha Irvin, right? So I didn't know they did this, but apparently at the shows, uh, Samantha reads out some of the signs. Show me your sign, show me your signs, and everyone gets their signs out. She looks at the screen, she's like, Cody Rhodes. And so she starts reading them out. One of the signs said, watch out for Diddy, right? And uh, she goes, watch. <laughs> and then bursts into laughter. So there we go. So fisticuffs, thank you. I had heard about that clip, but I hadn't seen it. So there we go. Uh, right, young Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. This is going to be lost on our younger audience, but this was a TV show called Saved by the Bell, and it was goated. So I've actually got the box set, right? So, And when I retire, I'm just going to work my way through it all. I think I've probably seen most episodes because I used to watch it when I got back from school. But um, there we go. Yeah, it, was, it used to be on, I think, was it Nickelodeon? I think it was on Nickelodeon. Was it Nickelodeon? I don't know now. I think it was Nickelodeon. But um, there we go. Matt, shout out to you. Right. Uh, this is Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green. I don't think I've got this one either. Normally, I have them queued up. Let's ping this over. Who's part of this coup you've got going on, huh? Everyone's against me. All of management. I knew it. I just knew it. And then you send that statuesque goddess into the ring with me? She's not even from Raw. Where's she from, huh? Where'd you find her? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not going to tell me, are you? Mm -hmm. You embarrassed me tonight. My grandmother was watching that. My grandmother! You should be ashamed of yourself. This is a mutiny! <laughs> I'm not Adam Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Adam Pierce. Oh, guys, I think she carries on, actually. Cheap, ugly suit and that stupid shiny head. You might as well be Adam! <laughs> she is excellent, isn't she? Excellent. Right, so uh, that was that. Let's uh, unwoosh. Let's unwoosh that. Uh, that was the sign in the night thing. Elite Rockers, shout out to you. Darius Fan, shout out to you. I've got to take the sound down. This is Naya singing to Shayna Baszler, right? Yeah. Usher, I think. Look, she's sat there. <laughs> There's Naya, it comes back. <laughs> I let you know that she's got the thing. And she brings it, man. So good. Fed up Shayna Baszler is like my new favorite thing. Uh, Night is WWE said what The Rock gave Cody. There we go. There we go. The gift that keeps on giving WWF the music. Let's go. Jazza, shout out to you. Look at this. This is from Asuka. Uh, I don't know who some of these people are. See, that's Asuka. That looks like EO. Could that be Kyrie? I don't know who this is. 
But uh, there we go. Having fun with filters. Oh, this is my favorite one. Kenny, for your thoughts. I've confirmed with my sources that this is what the rock slipped to Cody. Right? Do you like me? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't it? That is brilliant. That is brilliant. So uh, that's from uh, Kenny for you. Th that deserved more love, man. That deserved more love. That deserved more love. Right, and then we've got this other folder. Uh, we've got 11 minutes, so we should be okay. Tribal Chief, shout out to you. So new, new World Heavyweight Champion Damian Priest reveals that he has signed a new contract with WWE. Uh, Damian Priest says, all rise, as he's uh, posing with Aaron Judge. Uh, then we've got this footage. I do have this footage. So look at this. This is uh, Jay with his son. Uh, and his son just doing some uh, boxing training. So bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. So there we go. That is uh, Jay with his son. His son looking good, man. And uh, you can tell that Jay is very, very proud. So uh, there we go. So Harry Van Vliet, thank you, my friends. Uh, Bianca Belair said, thank you for all the birthday wishes. I can't believe I'm 35, but I am so grateful. And 35 was an amazing day. My husband still has more gifts to give me. So my birthday ain't over yet. He is giving me 35 gifts today. He is at 29. Hmm. Wow. I mean, that is just romance on a level that I will never know. So th he's given her 35 gifts for her 35th birthday. And so far, he's given her 29 of them. If I was, I'd be fed up, I think. 29, 35 gifts. That's a lot of gifts, man. That's a lot of gifts. I'd just be like, get me one really good thing rather than 35 little bits of tap you know i mean i'm sure they're not 35 bits of tap but you get my point uh Rhea ripley said welcome to the family bella ah so there we go she is a mommy she is a mommy montez ford is getting 35 look it was so big wrestling world cc felt that they should put it out as a separate thing uh, and kathy kelly said i think every single piece of luggage i own is officially broken and there we go. That is it. I need to go uh, because it has been absolutely horrifically raining here, right? Really badly raining. And um, I think that uh, the power may go out. The light has flickered a few times in this. Don't worry. It's not Uncle Howdy or anything, right? It's not a special effect that I'm trying out. But the flickering as we were doing this video had me a bit worried because it really, I really thought that the, the, trip, the fuse box might trip. Um, it can do that sometimes if we've had a, an exceptionally heavy downpour and uh, we have today. So, yeah, I need to go before everything shuts off anyway. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, Unseen. Uh, I am going to go off to get a lot of sleep after a monstrous WrestleMania weekend. But uh, I wanted to make sure we got this video out for you. And I hope you enjoyed it. I thought there was some really fun stuff in this one as well. So um, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate all the support over WrestleMania weekend. And um, onwards we go, eh? This new era has only just begun. So... Thanks for watching. Bye for now.